In recent years, more than half of all competitors in World Championships have raced in Empacher shells. In Eberbach on the Neckar, half an hour from Heidelberg, a staff of 60 is building racing shells, oars and skulls of wood and plastic. Let's start with the wooden shells. Empacher uses a special procedure for the construction of laminated wooden hulls. A first layer of diagonal boards of high-grade Honduras cedar is temporarily fastened on the outside of a mold and fitted together precisely. This method makes it possible for each boat to be identical to the original. A second layer follows diagonally to the first one. The boards are glued together and then polished by hand. The hull is then again covered with waterproof glue. The third layer of cedar is put on along the length of the boat. It is also stapled on temporarily. The lamination of all three layers is accomplished in a vacuum system which makes the hull very stiff and sturdy. In the construction of plastic shells, the hull and deck are made on the inside of a mold. This mold is first coated with a separator and then with gel coat, the yellow outer layer that is typical for Empacher boats. The system for the building of the hull is a sandwich construction. On the inside of the gel coat is a layer of fiberglass that is attached with an epoxy resin. Onto this laminate, a fabric made of aramid is glued, better known under the brand name Kevlar. The inside part of the sandwich is made of honeycomb material, which makes the hull stiff, even though it is very light. The inner layer of the hull is again of Kevlar. After the vacuum hardening of the sandwich construction, which is based on new findings from the aerospace industry, the hull is strengthened with strips of carbon fiber. is then demolded. It is stiff 
and can support and sustain most of the torsion and the tensile and compressing forces created in rowing. In a wooden boat, these forces are absorbed by the inboard construction of ribs, cross supports and diagonals. They are joined with a swallow's tail connection and glued with waterproof glue, like this deck plank right here. To reduce the weight, excess wood is cut off wherever possible. to sustain the pressure coming from the riggers, the rigger ribs are made of especially hard ash wood. Here, the deck planks are getting their final adjustment. In the plastic boats, the weight is reduced also. Here, holes are cut into the rigger ribs. These ribs are made of multi-layer plywood reinforced with carbon on both sides. They are glued to the hull under pressure. The fore and aft deck built the same way as the hull, is also connected with the outer shell under pressure. To attain the pressure necessary, a clamp is fastened every 20 centimeters. After the first vanishing, the wooden hull is polished. This procedure is repeated five more times before the boat receives its final varnish in a totally dust-free room. On the fore and aft, a double stick tape is fastened and elastic decking is affixed.
Ah, ja. Die ist auch nett, aber so. Painting on the bow, black tape for trim on the deck, and the Empacher logo complete the design of the boat. Oars and skulls can be built with many different blade types, as the models on the wall demonstrate. The blades are milled with a milling machine that copies the original precisely by scanning its three dimensions. The blades, as well as the hollow shafts, are of high-grade Alaskan spruce to attain the necessary hardness and torsion stiffness. The raw ores are now planed and polished by hand. Finally, like the hull, they are varnished several times. Empacher also makes plastic oars and skulls. In this case, the blade is pressed in a heated mold. After approximately one hour, it has hardened. The outer layer is of carbon fiber laminate. The hollow inside is filled with epoxy foam. For reasons of weight and stiffness, the shaft is also made of carbon fiber. The seats are milled after a model. The upper surface is formed on the machine and finally planed by hand. On the welding table of the locksmith, Measurements and angle of inclination of the riggers are precisely adjusted with a special appliance. The aluminium stays are measured and cut. With argon gas, they are welded between rigger plate and pin bracket. To 
check the pitch, the boats are rigged. For shipping, the riggers are taken off the boat again. Good. To prevent torsion, crossbars have been built into the boat in the meantime, and the slide bearings are also used for support. Finally, the footboards and seats are put in. The boats are now loaded and delivered to clients all over the world. We couldn't show you the research and development in this film, or the constant high technology improvements that Empacher makes in the interests of rowing. But the oarsmen are aware of them too through their successes.